What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Flicking on My Big Tarot here, where I bring you the beauty, juice, and spiritual truths. <laughs> I'm your spirit guide host, Miss DC, and y'all, you do not have to believe in tarot. Don't exclude yourself from the message because this shit can actually happen. Who are we on? Scorpio. All my information will be in the description box below. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this video. And if this is so, drop a tip in my cat chat, please leave a comment and let me know. Scorpio, y'all know I'm biased towards y'all. Y'all know I'm biased towards y'all. I like Scorpios for the mere sense that you can learn from them. And you all are usually real nasty and into mysticism and, and you know, magic and stuff like that. And I love stuff like that as well. And I like being a little nasty myself as an Aquarius. We're just into taboo. Like Scorpios, we're, we're into taboo. And I have Scorpio in my chart, just a little bit, a Scorpio in my chart. So I I, I, I can sympathize a little bit, but I, Scorpios are very hard for me to deal with, very difficult for me to deal with. And what I was about to say, I was about to say something about Scorpios. I don't know. But anyway, um, let's get into y'all reading. Oh, hold up. Wait, let me do that over. So somebody is packing. Somebody is toting. Somebody might need to protect themselves. I get two to three rounds or something. Somebody might let off two or three rounds. Somebody might let off one, two, or three rounds. Somebody might got a pistol. Somebody might feel like they got to protect themselves. From a... So there's somebody, Scorpio who all up in your energy or you all up in somebody energy. Somebody don't want to give you no space. Somebody don't. I feel like this is like, uh, uh, what is, what is that show? Um, um, what is that show where it's like, um, hold on a second. This is like a fatal attraction. There's somebody that is, there's somebody that's all up on you, somebody that want to be all up in your space, all up in your energy, all up in your face. And I feel like you may have to hold a gun like with this. And you know what? This is, and I said this in the cancer reading, there's no other sign that irritates me more than Scorpios and fucking cancers. When it comes to relationships, you motherfuckers just don't know how to let shit go. Like y'all will sit and stay with somebody that will fuck you over left and motherfucking right. If I got to keep my, my gun on the side and I got one, if I got to keep my motherfucking shit on my side while I'm fucking with you, I don't need to be with you. Y'all motherfuckers, the only ones don't understand that. Now, I'll be with you, but I, I got to make sure I tote my shit while I'm with you. Like, why the fuck do you, if I'm toting my shit and I'm with you, it's so that I can protect me and you. So if a motherfucker think they about to run up, nah, bitch, nah, I'm, I'm going to push my my man or my my girl or my, my, my baby to the side and bitch, what? Like, stop playing with me out here. Like, if I have to, a Scorpio will be the type that, uh, yeah, you can sit right there, but I'm, I, I make sure I got my gut. Like, what the fuck? Y'all, fatal attraction. Whoever this motherfucker is don't want to give you no space. They don't want to give you no room. They don't They don't want you to breathe. But you, you want your cake and you want to eat it too. And you want to take off their plate. But that's y'all motherfucking problem. Scorpios, y'all like to spend everybody else's money. You like to spend your money and everybody else's money too. And if a mother, if, if you, if somebody, if somebody lets you borrow some money, I, I, I realize this about Scorpios. If a Scorpio asks to borrow some money and you say, okay, but I'm going to need my money back. Scorpio will be like, all right, I got you. And then the Scorpio don't never give you your shit back. And then when you ask them, they got the nerve to get mad. Fuck you asking me for some money for if you wasn't going to return my shit. I didn't say you could have it, nigga. 
bitch. I just said, give me my shit back. And then y'all had a nerve to get attitudes with people when they ask for their shit back. Don't ask nobody for motherfucking nothing if you don't want to return their shit. Y'all selfish like that. Scorpio got some really good qualities, but a lot of y'all qualities are fucked up. Like y'all are fucked up ass people. And this is either you or who you dealing with, but I feel like it's a little bit of motherfucking both. Whoever you dealing with, you got to watch them. But at the same time, you trying to take from them and, and manipulate them too. So it's like both y'all working against each other, yet y'all together. I can't, this is why I can't deal with you motherfuckers. I swear to God, I can't do it. Like y'all, y'all start too much shit. Y'all always in the middle of some motherfucking drama. Like y'all like to deal with people. Like my thing is, I don't, and, and my thing is, I don't mind dealing with a Scorpio, but y'all love dealing with motherfuckers that'll get you fucked up. Y'all love dealing with people that'll fuck you over. Y'all love dealing with people that will come in your house and steal your shit. And they will tell you to your face that they done stole your shit. And y'all will hold the fuck on to them even tighter. But be still trying to fuck them over. Like, what? Ugh. Look, somebody might get some unexpected money. And I think the person that's going to get some unexpected money is who all in your face, Scorpio. So you or you might be in somebody's face. Or somebody might be in your, somebody is expecting, somebody is going to get some unexpected money. And I feel like Scorpio, you going to be the type, you the type that go out of your way to fuck with somebody because you know, they going to get some money. You know, oh yeah, they about to get some money. So let, let me, let me just, I don't really fuck with them like that, but let me play my role so I can get some of their money, get some of their shit. And the idiot that you dealing with, they probably know really probably don't know just dumb as fuck like listen listen i know y'all probably not gonna like me i don't give a fuck i'm just honest somebody going to court somebody might get some unexpected money from court and i feel like somebody might know that and you know scorpios y'all have really really sharp intuition so scorpios y'all aren't dumb by a long shot Okay, let's not get it confused. I know I, I'm biased towards y'all and I really don't like y'all, but I will give you your credit when it's due. You all are not that dumb as you all act or you all seem. You know what I'm saying? And it's not all Scorpios, but it's a good portion of y'all. Naturally, y'all are just fucked up ass individuals. I'm just saying. And whoever you're dealing with, you might be going to court with them or you may be going to court against them. And one of y'all might get some money. Somebody might get some unexpected money from a situation involving court. So this could be, uh, this could be, I'm not really seeing no baby, but if this is a relationship, it could be about a baby or it could be like, um, it could be a baby or it could be uh, alimony is what I'm picking up. Somebody might be trying to get money from uh, an ex-husband or an ex-wife to... So this feminine energy may be getting some unexpected money, whether it's you Scorpio or it's who you dealing with. Somebody, uh, it's a feminine energy may be getting because we got the mature woman and we also got a mature man. So somebody is going to court and they're going to win some motherfucking money. Maybe they didn't expect, maybe they expected to get some money, but maybe not that much. Or somebody is getting some money that they really didn't expect to get. I feel like Scorpio, whoever you're dealing with is about to get the money, not you. But you feel like, oh, your money is my money. Shit. If it's not reciprocated, bitch, fuck no. My money is my motherfucking money. Your money is your motherfucking money. Until, and that'd be the problem with you motherfuckers too. And I'm not talking about just Scorpio. I'm talking about people in general. People get with people that got money and you think just because you with somebody that got money that they money belong to you it don't it don't it don't you are not obligated to somebody else's money just because you with them 
If somebody decide, oh, I want to splurge on you, or I'm gonna spend a stack on you, I'm gonna spend, I'm gonna spend five, ugh, I'm gonna spend five stacks on you. It's still not your motherfucking money. It's not your money. If somebody want to spend their money on you, fine, but your money is not theirs. Their money is not yours. Like, yeah, you want, and, and this is this is what I see happening. This is what I see happening. Somebody going to call you, or this is you going to call somebody, put the situation however the fuck it need to go. Somebody going to call you and say, oh my God, I went to court and I want a bunch of money. What's up with you and us? Hey, I'm going to take you out. I just want a bunch of money. Let me go ahead and do something for you. Let me go buy you something. Let me go take you on a shopping spree. First thing a motherfucker think when they get, the first thing somebody think about when they get some money is spending it on you and not their own motherfucking self. So, yeah, crazy as fuck. I, and my thing is I'm one of them people, if somebody just wants some money and the first thing they want to do is spend it on me, I'm going to think something wrong with them. <laughs> Real life. I'm going to think something wrong with them. Like a lot of people ain't like me. A lot of people will say, oh shit, you got some money. You thought about me. You want to spend it on me. What the fuck wrong with you? The first thing you didn't think to put that money in a safe place. You didn't think about saving that motherfucking money. The first thing you thought was to go spend it on somebody else. And would that motherfucker that, that, that did that for you, would you do it for them? Or would they do it for you? Come on now. Whoever this is, is your twin flame. This is somebody that you may have been in a long-term relationship with. Um, this is somebody that you may have been in a couple, a couple with, you and whoever else. So Scorpio, whoever this is, you in a relationship with them or you fucking with them or you doing something, they might get some money and want to spend it on you and shit. And then want to have sex with you after, yeah. Somebody, somebody just wants to splurge on you. Somebody going to win some money and the first thing they decide to do is spend it on you. Somebody here knows how to cook. Some here about some food. Somebody might go out and buy, maybe somebody going to go out and buy groceries and you going to cook it. But I feel like somebody is also stressing out about this situation. So somebody might not feel like I feel like, but this feminine energy is stressing. I feel like somebody feels like this is what they have to do to keep you. This is why I can't deal with weak-minded people. See, I need my space. So this, whoever this feminine energy is, they're stressing out because they feel like you might ask them for some money. So that might be what it is. Somebody is stressed out because they feel like they go and get some unexpected money and you may know about this or you may find out about this. And it's like, as soon as they get some money, you hear you come calling, asking them for it or offering sex or trying to manipulate them out of whatever. And they stressing because they like, I just got this motherfucking money. I want my space. But here comes Scorpio trying to ask me for it. Or if this isn't them, this is you. It's like, damn, I just got this motherfucking money and here this motherfucker come all of a sudden. All of a sudden, here this motherfucker come when they know I done got some money. Y'all love people like that. Y'all love these toxic ass motherfucking people. So I don't know what the fuck you expect. Like, somebody birthday may be coming up. Somebody could be a Capricorn and they birthday coming up and they feel like, they feel like you, you, you ought to give them sex, a birthday cake. Something like that. But this person is a shark. Or you a motherfucking shark. See, somebody birthday may be coming up and they feel like, oh yeah, um, you just got some motherfucking money. Go ahead and break my bread. Go ahead and break our bread. Your bread is my bread. My bread is mine, but not yours, but yours is mine type shit. See, y'all love dealing with some fucked up people. A river. Because this person might have good sex. I feel like this person might be wet. It's not worth it. I don't give a fuck how wet a motherfucker is. I don't give a fuck how good the dick is. Like, it's not like, nah, you ain't. Nah, fuck all that. 
somebody here, I feel like whoever this feminine energy is, this feminine energy may be getting, so a feminine energy may be getting some unexpected money. And, and whoever this is, Scorpio, they all up in your face. They, they want to be with you until they get this motherfucking money. And then when they get the money, they don't want to be in your face no more because you might have been taking care of everything until they got their motherfucking money. And now that they got their shit, they want to slide over this way. And you like, oh, hold up, because I've been taking care of you all the way up until this time. So now it's time for you to give me my shit back. And this motherfucker is like, face ass. Trust your intuition, Scorpio. Whoever this person is you're dealing with, they, they're, they're a user. And like I said, put the energy where it go. But somebody here is about to come up on some money, but somebody is in your face. They want their cake and they want it too. They want, they want your, they want their cake. Somebody birthday cake. I said that in the beginning. They want their cake. They want to eat it too. And they want to take off of your plate. Or this is you doing it to them. Because I feel like this is a situation where this part somebody can't stay off of somebody. It's like you all in my you all in my face, you all in my space, you all in my motherfucking energy. And it's like you feel, but you feel like you gotta you gotta protect yourself with this person. Like you feel like, yeah, I'm I, I gotta protect myself because I, I don't really know. Trust your motherfucking intuition. Cause it's like this person all up in your face. They want, they want you to buy shit for them because Scorpios will take care of a motherfucker. Whoever they dealing with, they'll take care of them. But then it's kind of like, I'm taking care of you to keep you here. And while this motherfucker is all in your face and all in your space and chasing after you, you taking care of them to keep them with you. That's what Scorpios, y'all like to do that. Y'all y'all spend money on people so that they can stay connected to you. But whoever this is, as soon as they get some motherfucking money, they're going to try to separate. And now you feel obligated because you like, well, I've been taking care of you all this time. Now it's time for you to give up some of that motherfucking money. But they're like, um, no, I didn't tell you to do all of that. You wanted to do it. Look at that. 11-11. A light bulb moment is about to hit and you about to be like, well, damn. All this time I've been taking care of you. Now you don't want to give up no money to me. But that's the, these are the type of motherfuckers you like to deal with. So look, fame, you about to be seen. Or I feel like this isn't even about you being, being seen. Information is being withheld from you. So this person, this person might even get some money, Scorpio, and don't tell you that they got some money. Or this is you. You might get some money and you don't tell them. So I feel like this is a situation where somebody is like, somebody wants somebody for sex and because they give them stuff. But it's like the person that's always receiving, they're going to get something extra and they may hide it from you, Scorpio. And it's like, damn, I've been taking care of you. Then you go and you get all of this money or you get some unexpected money and you hide it. Bottom of the deck, what I say, four swords, out of sight, out of mind. Somebody is, somebody got headaches, somebody is frustrated. I just said that. Whoever this feminine energy is, they're stressed the fuck out. This feminine energy, they're stressed out because they, it's like, damn, they know if they get the money, they gonna want to spend it. But if they spend it, you're going to be looking like, well, damn, where are you getting the money to do this from? Where are you getting the money for that? How are you spending money on this, this? And this is why they stressed out because they don't want to share their money with you. They want you to, to pay for everything. And then when they get the money, so pretty much the same shit y'all do to people is what's being, out, being done to you. Or this is you, again, doing this to somebody else. You got your money and they you, you spending your money and you spending their money too. And they might get some money and they might be like, somebody don't want to tell you that they got some money. Somebody is stressed out because they feel like, nah, I don't want to tell them I got this money. Because if I tell them I got this money, they're going to swear they obligated to it. Then they, and, and you know, Scorpios, they like to control other people's money. Scorpios, so Scorpios like to control people's money. 
So it's going to be like, well, damn, you got that unexpected money and you didn't tell me about it. How the fuck you getting this money and you didn't tell me? Because what's going to happen is they're going to want to go and spend it. And you're going to be looking like, well, how the fuck did you get this? How did you, how, how, where you get that from? This could be a baby mama, baby daddy, um, somebody that has your child or something like that. But whoever this feminine energy is, they about to come up on some motherfucking money. Somebody, whoever is going to court, if there's a feminine energy that's going to court, they might be the one to get some money. And when they get the money, they're not going to want to share it with you. Or this is you not wanting to share it with them. But as soon as you start spending money, they're going to be looking like, well, how the fuck did you get the money for that? Oh, so you must have got some money from court. And if they know you're going to court, especially to get some motherfucking money, you best believe they're going to be watching your motherfucking pockets. <laughs> scamming, scamming. What did I just, y'all, y'all don't be trying to listen to me. Whoever this bitch is, whoever this is, they're plotting, scamming, and scheming because they know that they want to spend that motherfucking money and they don't want to share it. Somebody don't want to share some money that they about to get. And I feel like the other person been taking care of them and it's like, damn, I've been spending money on you. I've been doing this for you, doing that. Bitch, I've been in the motherfucking kitchen cooking for you and shit. You know what I'm saying? You got me stressed the fuck out and I've been waiting for you to go to court so you can get this motherfucking money. You don't went to court, got this motherfucking money. You know what I'm saying? Share it. Yep. Wanting to cut you off. Don't want to work with you and shit. Somebody, you was working with somebody, but they done cut you off. Or you was working with somebody and you done cut them the fuck off. Or they done cut you the fuck off. See, y'all were too attached. Y'all were attached to each other for the wrong motherfucking reason. So somebody is going to do something very much impulsive. Somebody is going to do something very, very fucking impulsive. If you don't, you better. <laughs>